Hi guys, I've got another video for you and this one is my makeup tools and beauty products that I just can't live without. And if I ran out of them or lost them, I would run out and get another one right away. So um, I don't know if you noticed, but I do have new lighting. So comment down below, let me know what you think. And um, the first one is the Almay Eye Makeup Remover Pads. This is in the oil-free version. And this has 80 pads in there, and I like this one. I do have the waterproof one as well. I find I go through this one much quicker. And it's really great for just kind of spot makeup remover, like just like in a smaller area where you don't want to redo your whole face, but, you know, maybe have a little smudge somewhere or, um, you know, if you're just wearing eye makeup and you wanted to take that off, it's just really quick. Um... So I use quite a bit of those. Um, and then I have the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. This is in the Ultra Soft. And um, I believe this is new packaging. This came in a twin pack. And um, I just like them because it's pretty easy to take off your makeup. Um, and it, it may not remove like the toughest waterproof makeup. But, you know, in general, it will remove, you know... What does it say here? Um, I've seen it. I've seen it say something about how it removes like ninety nine point nine percent. I don't know if that's like you know exactly true, but um, it it removes a good amount of your makeup, so there's not a noticeable trace or anything like that. Um, I like them as a quick kind of a way um, to get it off if I don't have time to you know sit and wash my face, which I should, but you know. Occasionally, um, I'm lazy like that. But um, the next product I have is this e.l.f. brush. It's called the Complexion Brush. Now, when I first got it, I thought, oh, it's not fully round because you see it's like kind of pinched in on the sides. So um, I love this brush, though. I can't get on without it. It's just like... I, I need it. If I don't have it, I buy another one. So I do have more than one now. Um, I use it for um, blush for the most part, but um, also just so that I don't um, kind of brush away um, the foundation or concealer that I have. Because I'm I have some dark spots on my cheeks, so I don't want to kind of mess up the concealer that I put there. So this is like a really good brush. Also. If you want like a more um, subtle type of application of like a more pigmented blush, this is a great brush for that because you can get like a very small amount on the brush and I find that it can be um, a really great way to put on a more pigmented blush without, you know, without too much getting, too much of the product getting on your face. So um, it's really great, but um, I find that I can use it for multiple things, even for highlight, if I don't need it in a small enough application. And um, I use it like for bronzer all over the face. I wouldn't contour with this necessarily, but um, it's a great all over brush and I just, I love it. So setting powder also, just like a ton of things I use it for. The next one is also an e.l.f. Brush, uh, brush, and it's called the Flawless Concealer Brush. And you see, it looks like it's pretty big, but it kind of, you know, it fits like around the eye area pretty well. Um, and I just, I love it for concealer. Like, I just can't get along without this either because it's just fabulous. It like really blends things out nicely, and um, I just... I, I love this brush. It's just great. And I mean, these brushes are, I don't know exactly how much this one is. This may still be three. I believe this one they raised from three to four on their website. So I just ordered another one actually because um, I had bought a replacement one at Walmart and it turned out to be a different brush entirely. So I just needed it. So I started using it because the other one had to be washed, but um, I needed this original shape. So I ordered another one from e.l.f. Um, and the next product I've got is the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer Mist. And I just love this stuff. I mean, I wear it under my foundation, like when I'm 
filming and I just love it. I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, so I'm not wearing foundation. I don't generally wear it just alone on the face, but underneath foundation, I find this is really nice. And um, I just, I love this stuff. And Hard Candy as a brand, I just, I enjoy most of their products, so. Um, and there's a couple more later that I have that are Hard Candy as well. Um, the next one I've got is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And I use it mostly in tandem with this other one. It's the NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil. And they're both in the shade uh, Espresso. Let me just double check. I think, yes. And this one, the Brown Mascara, has, you know, it's a little wand. I don't think it's the smallest wand that companies make for brown mascaras, but, um, you know, it works pretty well. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. And I haven't been tempted yet to try the Anastasia or any other um, companies So since I have these. And then the um, brow pencil is really nice. It has a fine little point. Um, the pencil is like really thin, so um, it's, it's really handy for just kind of drawing in areas where you feel that you need to fill in. And so, and the next one I've got is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. And this is the shade 110. And I like it. Um, I'm wearing it now. And I find that it doesn't really settle into fine lines or anything. And it gives me a pretty natural look. So I maybe come winter, I may want to go like just a hair lighter, but um, it's pretty good. So there's that one. And then um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I have the shade 20 Sand. Um, and I just, I love it. It's got the Doe Fit Applicator. And so it's a little more liquidy than like, let's say a stick would be. Um, and I just, I find it, it's really great. I use it mostly for under my eyes. Um, and I just find it to be, um, pretty good as far as the concealers run. I haven't really tried many of the high-end ones, to tell you the truth. So, um, there's that one. And then the last product I have is the Hard Candy, um, uh, Glamouflage Concealer. This is a shade medium. And they changed their formula a little bit from the original, from what I remember. And they changed the packaging slightly also. I really love what they've done because what they did was it's more, it seems more concentrated now, not as runny as it used to be, but you get the same coverage. And I find that it's not too heavy to use under my eyes. So it used to be where it was, you know, way too heavy for that. And now I feel like I can use it. So if I'm not using um, foundation, sometimes I will use this under my eyes instead of even the Fit Me concealer. And um, I just, I like what they've done. Um, it really, it really works well. And it's, it's easier to blend also because it's not as runny. So you get, um, you use less product. So that's always helpful. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little collection and it was maybe helpful for you. Um, and please subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.